What's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the draft now you guys might be like what the hell is the draft But there might be some of you guys who maybe follow some other youtubers out there who have previously been involved in the draft now What it is is that um, we all get into one big call and we draft out players um, That we would like in our team and this week's uh, theme was the Syria We had the Syria league to choose from and you just go through it and once you pick one player No one else was allowed that player or any form of that player and uh, that whole draft Skype call is actually over on AA9 skills channel so if you want to go ahead and watch that but here um, I'm just going to be showing you guys a squad that I drafted using um, you know from that Skype call and there are some really interesting players I thought I drafted quite well I managed to get quite a few key key players um, but there are definitely areas of which I should have drafted better but I'll talk about that as we get on with the video so in between the sticks, we have actually got Handanovic, and I decided to use his inform for me. His non-inform was actually the best card out there, and uh, well, not the best card out there, sorry, the best goalkeeper in the Serie A out there, so I went with him, and then as centre-back, I also managed to get Barzagli, and also Ogbonna, so that was a really nice pairing for me, um, getting those two centre-backs, if, you know, if I, I'm going to be perfectly honest, I think those are two of the best centre-backs I could have gotten in the Serie A. Of course, you could have gotten, like, Chiellini, um, and maybe there's a couple others that you might be in interest in picking up but for me definitely those two center backs were key as well now a big thing was me getting my hands on constant because I wanted to run a 4-1-2-1-2 if you guys are aware of the Syria left back there is a serious shortage shortage of gold left back sorry I believe there are only two golds and the rest are silver you got constant and Radu those are the two left backs that you can choose from um, so I managed to get my hands on constant and I left him quite late to pick on as well I was surprised nobody really rushed in there but at right back unfortunately I left that that really quite late on I didn't manage to get my hands on Abate and I ended up with this lad here he didn't look too bad though you know it wasn't the end of the world he was a silver but I was just very confident in the rest of my defense that I wasn't too concerned about a, a right back sort of uh, issue I suppose but yes he is a silver player he is in fact the only silver player in my team though which is nice you guys will see a lot of the squads on the other people's channels are actually they have more than one quite quite a few silvers so I was happy with that then at defensive mid I didn't manage to get um, the one I wanted which was actually De Jong I really wanted to pick him up so I ended up going with Essien and Essien's a really solid center defensive mid now he of course plays for AC Milan so that worked out all right now we got Lulic at left mid there are definitely some better options to Lulic but I played a lot with him during my two girls one series uh, over on Toby's channel so I thought you know since I'm uh, aware of how good he is and how well he plays on that wing um, I'll go for him I believe Mr. FIFA SA one of the uh, Arabic YouTubers um most of the English guys probably may have never heard of him because he does do his commentaries in Arabic, which is actually really interesting, and he is really good at the game as well, but he managed to pick up El Shirawe. But at right wing, we get our very first team of the season, and there was one rule that you had to have at least one team of the season in your team, so I ended up picking up Kandreva, and Kandreva, he looks really good. If you guys have seen my video on the Italian World Cup squad, I talk a lot in depth about Kandreva and what I think to him, so go ahead and check out that video. Uh, Cam, we went with, this was my absolute number number one pick that I wanted and it was in fact Guarin. Guarin for me is just a monster in this game. You shoot with his right foot and you have got yourself a goal. This guy is just insane. Um, seriously, his str his um, shooting is just monstrous. Uh, for me, one of the best shots in the game and I was really happy to be able to get him. A lot of people went for, I think Harry went for Honda. That's another good pickup. He was my sort of backup to Guarin and uh, there are uh, Hernanez as well, another option, Diamante. So, you know, there were definitely uh, quite a few good cams but the last thing I wanted to have is a shortage of quality players and, and then my two strikers I went with were Balotelli and Inform Higuain so if I'm honest with you guys I think I drafted really quite well uh, I don't know what you guys think um, I think I did quite well probably for me I wasn't so keen on that Higu Inform Hig Higuain I should have gone with team of the season Cersei he looked a much better pick and I believe he was still open at the time I got that Inform Higuain I think that was the case anyways I think Nep ended up getting Inform Cersei so that was kind of a, a lapse in concentration for me I really should picked him up because uh, you know I had the chance to but that's the team right there that's the team I'm going to be playing against Bateson which will be released tomorrow so hopefully I can go ahead and beat Bateson and of course if you guys would like any coins to build any of these players or um, just open up any packs check out the foot shop link will be down below you can use Calfreezy at checkout get you a discount but I'm excited to see how all of this pans out guys of course wish me luck against Bateson Bateson being one of the best ultimate team players on YouTube hopefully we can go ahead and progress on to the next round but you guys will have to see what 
happens tomorrow, and uh, hopefully I can have all of your guys' support in the comment, and if we can hit 2,000 likes, that would be absolutely amazing. Have a fantastic day, and uh, I'm about to go watch the um, Arsenal versus Hull game. So, uh, yeah, you guys can argue about that stuff in the comment, because uh, this video will be up after that game. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.